doing things a little bit different this episode. Hey, Nasties, how's it going? I know it's been forever uh, since we've talked, uh, but I just wanted to drop in before this episode airs and uh, let you know what's going on. Um, as you can hear, I am sitting here with a couple of guests. It's not my usual partner in crime, Spicy, but I do have my beautiful and very, very pregnant wife, J-Pack, sitting across from me. And that cough that you heard is our firstborn, G. Um, if you guys remember the reason why... Uh, we haven't podcasted or haven't gotten together lately is because we are about ready to have our second child here in a couple weeks as of recording this and i'm going to drop the podcast tonight um we are 2.5 weeks away and uh, we're really excited are you really excited about it yeah, I'm excited. shit's gonna get crazy but um <laughs> i just like i said wanted to stop in and uh I just say that I don't know when we're going to be able to record again. Uh, this is episode 55 coming up, and this was that Sunday morning. And I believe that we touch on the Super Bowl and some other topics. Spicy tells a great story, and uh, we just we miss you. We can't wait to get back in. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. And uh, I also wanted to get this on record um, before I let you go. Uh, JPEGs, I want you to go on record and tell me what you think we're having. Because we don't know. We're not going to find out until the baby's here. So, Well, I think we're having She's another that? boy. Yes, and I think it's a girl. So I've had a felt girl this whole time. I always, I think I had a dream like forever ago that um, when, like, when we first started dating, like if we got together, we were going to have a boy, like two kids only, a boy girl. And I think as of right now, it's our only plan to have two kids. So I'm very excited to be done. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's uh, exciting. Um, but for people who don't know, G just turned two uh like back in january so they'll be right at about 25 months apart so yeah. um very excited and just to let you guys know um like i said i think once we have the baby uh spicy and cam are gonna come down and we're gonna try to get in some podcasts yeah. then so hopefully that's not too terribly long but uh just wanted to pop in and say that we love you and uh definitely thanks for listening guys it's, it's a blast and we're definitely not going to stop we have a ton of things we have a lot of great episodes planned for this year so uh season four will be coming around the corner here shortly so uh anything that you guys want to say g do you want to say anything can you say hi hey <laughs> all right there you you go. T tell them bye, bye. Good job. <laughs> all right take it away slayer Hey everyone, Slayer here to introduce Nasty and Friends from BDC Studios, a podcast where two friends who met in the Army Reserves get together and talk about shit. One's a firefighter, and the other has a funny laugh. So sit back, get rid of your kids, and hold on to your because it's about to get nasty, friends. Welcome to Nasty and Friends, with Pack Nasty and Spicy Motherfucking Brown. Guess who's back in the motherfucking house with a fat hug for your sweater or your blouse? Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Nasty and Friends Podcast. I'm Spicy Motherfucking Brown, and I'm here with my, as always, with my main man, Pag Nasty. Glad to be back, man. Yeah, episode up, 55. Season 3, episode 55, dude. We've been 55 episodes. Yeah, dude, that's so crazy. And we know, trust us, we know how crazy the last couple episodes have been. So, like the last few, I think, for this weekend. Yeah, been... man. Still, 55 episodes. Yeah. Grammy nominated, <clears throat> Emmy yeah. nominated. Tony nominated. Tony, Oscar <laughs> nominated. No awards, but we've been nominated for, you know, you name it, you know? Yeah. Streamies, Fucking everything. Soul Train Awards. We got, remember that one? That was a good one. <laughs> Fucking Pornhub Awards. We've yeah. been nominated. We just haven't clinched yet. <laughs> we'll season four, there. maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Season four, with your support, <laughs> we know we could do it. We grab some of those awards. <laughs> Oh man, it's good. To, it's good to be here. We're in BDC Studios, ladies and gentlemen. And in the background, we have uh, paintball <laughs> war compilations. So we're, we're, I got a paintball story. We're gonna talk about. We both have a paintball story, I guess, because we shared an experience, a bunch of experiences doing paintball together. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, outside of the army, which I think we kind of touched mm -hmm. on um, earlier. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, I, I love paintball. It's, it's it's a lot of fun. So. Dude, it's, it's been a long weekend, dude, but it's been a good one. You know, if you listen to the last few episodes, uh, we had some phenomenal guests. Uh, we, I wouldn't go that far, but they, they've been all right. They're decent. They're decent. Uh, we had a, we did feast though, starting with the tri-tip, 
moving into the feather bones and then the chicken sausages. We broke tradition a little bit last night and mm. we didn't do the nachos like Dude, we usually do. Just so much food. So though. much food, man. Like we figured that probably was gonna happen yeah. with everything, which is fine. You know, we'll definitely make sure we hit it up next time. Oh yeah, because we still have leftover tri tip. We still have a few <clears throat> feather bones left, and we still have some chicken chicken sausage. So yeah, we could have did nachos, but we we're full as fuck so <laughs> but no it's been a great weekend man it's great to have you here yeah woke up and had the business and gravy that we uh cooked up that uh that bacon that Tour fox brought us yeah. so which i don't think we had mentioned uh, over the last couple podcasts but uh, yeah i mean but obviously we talked about the chicken sausage but he also did bring bring us some bacon that we cooked up and that was phenomenal yeah, it's, so. it's from fresh time and it was applewood uh bacon and yeah it was fantastic man that went great with the b and g's the biscuits and gravy and with the Shouts out horse tooth for yeah. the tremendous hot sauce. We, I didn't need it on there because it's a spicy sausage. Right. Uh, Camus got the sausage from, I think it's called Louisiana Pride or Tennessee, Louisiana Pride, Tennessee Pride. Nobody has Pride in Louisiana. <laughs> I was just getting man. ready to say nobody that's, has it. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> Tennessee Pride uh, sausage because I like to go with stuff like that versus like a Jimmy Dean. Yeah, I that's agree. I like meat. it on the spicy side as well. So Jimmy Dean does not use I'll say it on the podcast, and I don't know if I've ever said it before. Jimmy Dean does not have real meat. <laughs> I mean, it's meat, but it's not. Yeah. You know. And they're racist with cat. a name like that. Yeah, it's, they're racist. They're racist. Jimmy they're Dean, Paula Louisiana. Dean. Yeah, it's yeah, all the same. They're related. <laughs> they're in the clan together. So yeah, the Tennessee Pride, spicy hot sausage, and applewood bacon, biscuits, and gravy. Quite, <sighs> quite gravy. Yeah. Uh, we also had like some eggs just to throw on yep. on top of it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, dude. It's always one of my favorite breakfasts. You can never go wrong with biscuits and gravy. Can't go wrong, man. So, yeah, that's good, dude. So, yo, uh, I got a few things I want to we we got to talk about. A few things I want to talk about. I want to talk about my man Tommy Two Guns. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You're probably not cut up on the story. Uh, I've never talked about it on the podcast because we haven't. Uh, we've had guests, right. you know, and we've had other stuff to talk about. But I should have brought it up on the first podcast we did like 52 whatever the other day mm -hmm. but so my man tommy two guns uh he he's a fireman he works at my firehouse great dude uh one of the best guys i know so he he's a fireman he's on the engine uh he's the homie you know what i mean so oh, yeah. every year he our every fire department in the the fire union and world you know america canada our uh our charity that we give to is MDA, Muscular Dystrophy Association. That's just the fire's name. To fill, fill the boot, you'll see guys at Hy-Vee and, you know, places. And it's always for for that, right? Yep. It's always MDA. Whatever we're doing, it's for MDA. So Tom takes it a step further, and he's been riding bulls for uh, charity. Oh, that's so he started too. He started a few years ago. He has a shirt every year. So I have every color shirt. You know, he's, he's done. Right. He's, I don't know how many years, but he's raised a lot of money. But uh, his first bully rode broke his arm. Damn. Got back on that same bull a few years later. Got hurt again, I think. But he's injured himself quite a bit riding bulls. And yeah, he's not it's a, fucking tough, man. It's a I tough mean, sport. And he's not a... I mean, he's, I think, 42 years old. 43 years old. Yeah. He loves doing it. He loves doing money for charity. Uh, we've talked to him before. Uh, we almost had interventions. People are like, hey, dude, you're going to get fucked up. Uh, what's going to happen then? What if you lose your job, you know? Who's going to bang your wife? That kind of thing. <laughs> right. So this uh, is a solid question. Mm-hmm. Like you need to think about this stuff. I always told him, dude, you do you, man. That like you can't. And in my eyes, you can't tell no. a person. I almost said a man, which <laughs> would have been very 2017. <laughs> right. You can't tell a person what to do. If there's something in their heart that they want to do, they're gonna do it. Especially something as like dangerous as that. I would assume. I mean, that he's obviously a small guy, so I would also assume that uh, he had. You know, he knows the risks and stuff like that. I think yeah. anybody who does that. Mm -hmm. So and it, it's worth it for him. So yeah, I mean, just that's what makes you happy, man. Especially right. if you're doing it for charity. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that's what you want to do. I'm not. I'm not gonna even try to talk you out of it. Like, right. You, just do, you do you. You know yourself. You know the risks. You, you know. So that was always my thoughts. Uh, Fuck it, man. If that's what you do it. So anyway, go back a few months. It was the day I left for Minnesota. So I went to Minnesota for three weeks. That first day in Minnesota, uh, we had stopped in an armory in in uh, Minnesota. We stayed the night there, and then we actually went to the camp we were going to go to the next day, and then we moved in and occupied the woods. So uh, we started getting text messages in, that night. Uh, so every So he does it all over mm -hmm. like the bull riding and he does one big one at the Sarpy County Fair okay and at Sarpy County Fair that's when he makes the shirts he sells the shirts okay he usually has a slogan on the back uh, I 
can't remember what, what this year's was, but it's always something inspirational. And <clears throat> the money from the shirts also goes to MDA. And while we're there, we fill the boot. Uh, so last year, I went with the whole fam. My daughter was in mm-hmm. town. So the two boys, my daughter, Camus, uh, we went. There's a lot of friends we had there that went. It was a great time. Did some carnival rides. <laughs> Didn't die. Surprising. Yeah, yeah. But then we watched uh, Tommy ride. Uh, he's rode eight seconds, I think once, maybe twice, you know. Uh, and he wants to ride. It's just, it's a tough sport, man. Yeah. So anyway, so this year I couldn't go. I was in Minnesota. That night we started getting text messages. Hey, I just got word, you know, in the group text. Hey, just got word. Tom uh, uh, hit, hit the ground hard, got hit by the bull hard, something. But uh, they said they he was unconscious. The medics took him to Fuck. Uh, university <clears throat> medical center. So when we started getting more updates, they said, yeah, so-and-so was there. They said they tried to talk to him. Uh, Tommy was out of it. He didn't recognize him. They went code three trauma to the trauma center. Oh, my God. Then, you know, started getting more information. And then as the days went on. So Tommy went into a coma. I think it was medical-induced tona- coma. He had bleeding in his brain. He was in a coma for seven days. So we're trying to get information, trying to get intel. So when he got thrown off, did he? I'm assuming he hit his head, or did he get hit? So he had he had a helmet. He always rides with the helmet. Well, that's good. He pretty much got head head butted by the back of the bull's head. Oh. He was going forward. The bull was coming up. Hit hit the bull's head. Also hit the ground hard. Yeah, yeah you're not gonna win a, in a headbutt competition with a bull. No so. man, it's a few thousand pound animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in a coma for seven days. At first. They, they were saying he might not live. You know oh. what I mean? Like the first. So we got that bad. It was that man. serious. Jesus. Like when they first got to the hospital, they didn't know if he was going to live kind of thing. So in a coma for seven days. Then he went to a Madonna Rehab Center. He was there for about a month. Uh, so I got back. I did my three weeks in Minnesota. Got back. The next day after coming back, I finally got up to Madonna to see him. And I hadn't talked to him since then. I've heard, you know, stories. So. By the time I got to visit him, this was three weeks later, he still was real, like, left-sided weakness. Uh, he couldn't walk real well. Mm-hmm. He had, like, drooping on the left side of his face. It looked like he had a stroke. That's what it sounds uh, like. He couldn't swallow that well. He was problem having problems eating still. He lost a lot, a lot of weight, and he's already a smaller guy. So the worst part was to me was his memory was real bad. So I, he always, like, handhelds ice cream. So we I got a bunch of – me and Camus got a bunch of ice cream. We brought it to the thing. And we gave it to the <clears throat> the nurse, put his name on it, and I told him I got the Magnum ice cream, the fucking good shit. And I, we you told went him, all out. We went all out. <laughs> but I told him I had to tell him three times I got ice yeah. cream. And each time I was just like, "Fuck, man, you know." Dude, that sucks. So I was like, "Hey, uh, you know, you got your some Magnum ice cream, some handhelds, dude." And he's like, "Oh my god, dude, that's fantastic, man. God bless you. Thanks for doing that." And then he ate lunch, and I hung out with them. Uh, yeah, let me know when you're ready for ice cream. And he's like, "Oh, you, you brought ice cream." So, yeah, dude, I brought some Magnum handhelds. He's like, oh, man, God damn, God, God right. bless you, man. That's And then the third time I told him, and he had no idea that I had told him, you know, an hour earlier. I was like, fuck, this is, you know, this is the real deal. So, as of now, he's back to, he's back to kind of his old ways. Oh, that's good. Uh, he's, he's walking, he's driving. He just started driving like oh, a week ago. Yeah. So, for a few months, he couldn't even drive. <clears throat> we don't know if he's ever going to come back to the job in suppression. But there's bureau spots okay. where you got a 40 hour work week. You're, it's an office job, whether it's pub ed or uh, uh, inspector. They would inspection. do that for him. Yeah, I mean, I would assume. I mean, yep. I know he's been on the department for what a decade, right, or more. Yeah, over over 10 years. Yeah, dude, that that's. I mean, hopefully he can come back and you know work fully. But I mean, if not, because he has what? It's a year that he has to be able to come back. So- he's got to be back to the job in a year or the city could get rid of him at least in some aspect in some aspect so yeah he he's gonna have to leave his spot on the engine and bid a bureau position and once opening up soon there's a captain that's gonna get made uh a guy who's gonna get firefighter is gonna get made to captain and uh that spot's gonna open up and i think tommy's gonna try to get that spot and then he should be good and then eventually maybe he will be able to come back to suppression yeah I think his memory's better. Everything, everything is better. Dude, they had a charity softball game in his name. All the money went to NBA. There was, uh, excuse me, shouts out to the local media. They did a bunch of news stories about him. Uh, word got out. He's a big Minnesota Twins guy. Is that right? Minnesota Twins? Yeah, yeah, baseball. Yeah, or yeah the, the Twins. 
I might be wrong, dude. Oh. I, I, I thought you were thinking, like, is that the name of the baseball team oh, in yeah, Minnesota? Yeah. So, no, which no, no. I, I think it's the Twins, dude. And I don't know because we're not in fucking Minnesota. But <laughs> uh, one, of the, one of the pitchers, somebody there also does something for MDA and heard of the story, had everybody sign a ball, uh, and that got auctioned for charity. Oh, that's great. For, so, uh, and all the news stories, and he had tons of visitors and tons of people helping, and people roofed his house and did stuff for his family. They cooked meals for months for his oh, family. Yeah, and, that's great. Uh, yeah, because they're going through it. They're going through right it. Right yeah. along with him, for sure. Yeah, they got two kids, and yeah, his wife is handling everything. So he, he got a lot of support from the union and, you know, just friends and family, and He's a good dude. So he's on the road to recovery, but uh, I, I had to bring him up. And he, you know, he's a inspiration to people. You know, he's he's a good man. So yeah, no, absolutely. And yeah, you've told stories about him yeah. and, and stuff like that. So I'm glad I hadn't heard the update you had told me a while back about him. Uh, yeah. Last uh, time we talked, you told me the ice cream story, and that's mm-hmm. the last that I heard. So to hear that he's driving again, everything's coming back, and that he's at least going to be able to get back on the department in some aspect, Absolutely. hopefully, that's fucking phenomenal, yeah. man. That's everything. Because that was after it's like, okay, he's going to live. The next question is, am I ever going to be able to do this job again? Because that's that would be the most heartbreaking thing for, any, for any of us is, oh, you can't do this job anymore. Uh, but the biggest thing is he's alive. He's got yeah. most. He's got his wits back, and even when he was in, you know, like around the first time I saw him since the incident, he was still had his wits about him. He had humor yeah. about him. He he makes jokes, and then if anybody he gets called out on stuff, he's like, "Hey, I got a brain injury." You know, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Oh, no, that's great. Uh, he he'll introduce himself to people, you know, like, "Oh, hey, I'm I'm Tommy Two Guns." <laughs> Like and people he's known for yeah, yeah. free. He'll, he'll act like he doesn't know you. And so he still has a sense of humor, which That's is great. great. It's different around the firehouse, man, because he was, uh, we're such a tight group, uh-huh. the 10 of us. Uh, and he was, me and him, we ate lunch together. We always eat lunch in the same spots, and we always ate lunch together. And uh, to have him not there these last few months, it's a lot different, man. Oh, yeah. So. You kick to your stomach, I bet. Yeah, you know? it sucks. Like for sure. Yeah, it sucks. And it dominated the conversation. <clears throat> you know what? It seems like uh Every time I go to AT, like every year something bad happens. Yeah, know? well, thank God you're not going anymore. <laughs> I know, man. So I, a few years ago, I had a buddy who, whose baby died. Yeah. kid died. And then a few years ago, uh, we, had a, we had a guy on the job, Scott Peterson. He got killed by a drunk driver. Jesus. And, the, 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 you know, like, and showed up to work, found out he died. And then I think the next day I went to AT. And so I didn't have, I, it just seems like there's always stuff going on around AT and, I have to miss it, and sometimes it's, it's for the better. I know it dominated the conversation for a long time, and uh, updates on Tommy, and all oh, I wanted to yeah. see Tommy yesterday, and he's still in the coma, that kind of thing. And, uh, but it, it's good. He's, he's doing a lot better. And uh, Dude, I, I got to see him because he was on the truck, so I got the award. I got an award uh, for uh, a call we went to on New Year's Eve with a house explosion with people trapped. And so we got a life-saving award. Tommy was on the truck that day. He's usually on the engine. Right. For some reason, it, we can't. You can't ride the truck short. You know what I mean? Because it's a, uh, like life saving. Yeah, because it's it's a truck company. So you can <laughs> ride an engine short. You don't ever usually ride a truck company short because there's only a certain amount of trucks in the city, where every firehouse has an engine. Uh, so for a typical fire alarm response, you get three engines, one truck. If it's a working fire or apartment complex or something that could get bigger, uh, if it's not if it's not a multiple alarm, then they'll just let, let me get another truck. So usually if somebody's sick or something like that and they don't have enough manpower to fill, mm-hmm. they'll just send somebody over from the engine. But the engine rides short and we'll have Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. So this day he had mm-hmm. we had Tommy on the truck. Uh, we got the a life we got awarded a life saving citation for actions at that fire. So I got to see him. The union did a deal where they gave us an award and then the city and the mayor gave us the life saving citation just the other day. So uh, we got to see him, and then we went to uh, post lunch after that, and had oh, some food yeah. and drinks, and all hung out. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking when you were uh, talking about when you told him that you gave the uh, the handhelds the ice cream. Like, yeah. what if he had like a different reaction like every time? So he'd be like, "Hey, yeah, I got you some ice cream." You know, they got your name on. I'd be like, "Oh, dude, thanks, man. That's fucking great. You're doing God's work. I appreciate it." <laughs> and then like an hour later, you tell him, "You're like, what, what the fuck? Why would you get that brand? You know, yeah. I don't like." <laughs> like, and then you tell him again, and he's like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> it's just like <laughs> that would have been good. Dude. <laughs> And, but he's just like fucking with you, but you can't tell. Oh, it's beautiful. No, man, that that's fucking phenomenal that he's doing great. Yeah, so, man. 
um, that's really, really good news. So, yeah, hopefully he can eventually get back to doing it yeah. you know, full-time and in the suppression area. So. Yeah, and I can't tell you how much money he's raised for the charity, but it's been a lot. Oh, man. yeah, I bet. It's a lot of money. So, yeah, dude, and so we got the paintball going on in the background. I kind of wanted to talk about paintball. I don't know. Uh, I think a lot of people probably have, have done it, but <clears throat> there's a lot of people who haven't. So we could talk about that a little bit because we used to, in the Army, that's how I first got involved with paintball is in our firefighting unit. We would go to the field, <clears throat> and instead of using, like, Miles gear, like, so most of the military uses Miles gear, which is lasers, and they attach that to your weapon. And then when you fire blank ammunition, it shoots a laser, and then you're wearing a halo on your helmet and a harness on your vest it's shitty equipment it's right? shitty it's the same dude i i used i used it this summer when we were in minnesota and it's this it like it was like 82 like it had the dates on them it's the same old shit doesn't work so the army usually uses that or they'll use sub rounds sub munition rounds and i've used those i used those for the first time last year so the difference with those is with the miles gear yeah you hear the noise but there's nothing flying at you uh, with paintball, those things are moving like 185 feet per second or something like something crazy, some yeah. ridiculous speed, and they hurt. And you hear them yeah. whizzing by you. Yeah, because I remember, yeah, I think you were talking about this uh, on the, the last podcast a little bit. Because I asked if you were wearing like eye protection, you're like, no. no. <laughs> yeah, it could be dangerous. But I mean, it is to get the realistic oh, thing, yeah. I guess. You know, that's nice. And then the difference also between sub munition rounds and uh, paintball is. It's a lot better to use sub rounds. I'm sure they're way more expensive because you're actually using your rifle, your weapon. Yeah. Or paintball, you're you're uh, re- recharging, you're dumping, you know, balls into the hopper on the top. It's nothing like with sub munition rounds. They change the bolt, mm-hmm. so they have you have to have a special bolt you put in your M4 or your rifle, and uh, that way you can't interchange rifle <laughs> ammo with sub munition rounds. So that's a big safety deal. Cause there there was a a buddy of mine, his squad leader, got killed out in uh, Fort Lewis, Washington, because they were using blank ammo. Okay. Somebody put a live mag in there. It shot through the blank adapter. It killed the guy, and this guy was a scumbag. He knew he shot real rounds and then went off, didn't tell anybody, and he was, like, in the search. They were looking for this guy through the woods. A real piece Found of him. shit. Yeah, so. Uh, but anyway, so shit like that. And we talked about that, like, in the military. Training accidents happen all the time. Oh, People I die know. all the time. So the submunition rounds are better because you're actually throwing a 30 round mag in you're charging like you mm-hmm. usually would and then you're shooting like you usually would it's not a different kind of weapon so if you want to train like you fight you do that yeah when we did so we did the sub rounds and it, it's a cartridge just like a, a normal cartridge but the tip is not you know full metal jacket or whatever else it's just a, it's it's shaped the same way the bullet would on a cartridge but it's paint it's a tip tipped uh, deal with paint in it so it's like a paintball round you shoot out of a M16 556 uh, cartridge. Yeah, I've yeah, I've d- played with them before. That's fucking phenomenal. So the problem was the problem was at night where uh you have we have the VVS uh 14s with night vision which is the monocle which is just one. So your other eye is exposed. <laughs> so like we're running around at night and it's like this fake village we're shooting and fighting in. And I just got one eye, it's night vision, the other eye is wide open, and I'm like, I'm going to catch a fucking paintball. Oh, if you catch one of those in the eye, dude, you're losing your Yeah, eye. yeah, your vision's gone for sure. I'm like, is this really worth it? It's not, but I'm still banging like a motherfucker. I'm fucking... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm yelling Tupac lines and fucking just dumping clips. Yeah, dude, I, I get into it, but... Well, yeah, you have to. In the back of my mind, yeah, the back of my mind the whole time, I'm like, fuck, I don't catch one in the eye. I think I'm probably like squinting. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Just looking through the night vision. That's 100% what I would do. That's scary, man. So we used to do that quite a bit in our firefighter unit, play paintball. And, uh, yeah, we would have some wars, dude. And we would fuck some people up. And uh, that was always fun. And in in this unit now, uh, we don't don't do that shit, you know. We did do, like, the Miles gear. And like I said, last year we did the the, – sub munition rounds which were pretty sweet but uh a few years ago uh shots out rob long got married and he had a bachelor party at mad dog mad dog uh, paintball and then we went out to louisville lakes and had the cabin deal so that was a great time and yeah so we all played paintball all that yeah, day. there was a ton of us that day that was fucking that was great man dude it is but when, um when you get a bunch of people like you know that are friends and and shit like that to go out yeah it's fun like, I don't mind playing against, like, random people, but it's just better when you can shoot people that you know. Oh, and for sure. Then, 
you know, they're going to, not that I really matters if you're going to play fair or not. But, right. You know, most of the time I'm not going to be aiming to, you know, like really fuck you up. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know. yeah. But, yeah, because you get some people that you play, and they have like souped up guns. Yep. You know, we've talked about before. You're like, Jesus, did you freeze those paintballs before? Or yeah. What? <laughs> did that happen, dude? I want to get into that. I was pissed. But so we went to a few weeks ago. My buddy put on a deal. He's like, hey, we're going to go to Macau and we're going to fucking do paintball. So I went, we had a blast. Uh, we were killing it. It's different. It was, so for me, it was different. I've only paintballed with army people. <laughs> and even though we're not a combat unit, we all know what to do. You get a, you kind of know what people are probably going to do like yeah. in a certain situation because of training, like, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, to stay spread apart, you know, when to rush, you know, somebody's going to have to suppress fire. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to rush, you know, and flank. So I know if I'm like, hey, I'm reloading, I know somebody else is going to start shooting. Right. But when I went with just civilians. Uh, yeah, it, it was, you're yelling out, she, I'm reloading, <laughs> what are you doing? Don't go yet. Yeah, so <laughs> it was harder because I had no idea what people were going to do and people did weird stuff. So, <clears throat> But it was a blast. It was a blast. So then the union did a deal for the Helmet Club. There's this thing called the Helmet Club. You pay money every month and then they have events and usually at the events it's free, drinks are free, like they do a lot of events. So they had one of those, and I wasn't going to go. The boys were out of school that day. Uh, I asked them if they wanted to go. They said, they were like, yeah, how bad is it going to hurt? I'm like, it's going to hurt, but yeah. it's, you're going to be fine. It's yeah, fun. but it's not bad. It's, it's not st- fun. It's not bad. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they were like, yeah, they were all about it. So they were down. So we we went to that, and that was a good time. Uh, I'm sure they had a blast. They had a blast. Yeah. I, I, once they got hit, and they knew uh, it wasn't it's just what that it was first like. One. The first one, right. Yeah. And we had some welts, you know, for sure. I took a lump that day, so... Uh, there's a dude on the job. Uh, he's a professional paintball guy. <clears throat> he wore his fucking, and I called him Rainbow Six because we had a <laughs> Rainbow Six when we were on the army playing paintball. And this dude came out decked out and all black. He was the only one not in camouflage. He was in all black and he had a fucking backpack with extra ammo and all that shit and a souped up gun. So this guy was the same way. So I would call him Rainbow Six right off the bat. He had his own fucking, we all had the rental guns. He had a souped up fucking gun. It was like a sniper rifle, dude. And it was shooting hard as fuck. Ugh. So he kept shooting me. I, I I mean, I was before he got there, I was fucking killing. You know what I mean? <laughs> After that, like he That's shot probably me so what many happened times. Was somebody was out on the field, like calling him back and be like, listen, we got this fuck. You need to like come over. So he shows up. He's like, I'll take care yeah. of him. <laughs> so we're on the opposing team all day. And I he he shot me a bunch, dude. And the, even the refs knew him because, like, his family works at this place. His his brother was there. So they were helping us try to kill him, you know what I mean? So he'd be like, hey, he's he's right around the corner. All right, move, 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 go now. <laughs> so uh, we I, he would hit me, and I would just wipe it off, and I would keep shooting. <laughs> so I got shot. Every match I got shot so many times. There's a couple I survived till the end. The one I was the most proud of was uh, we were in the woods area. You know, they have the they have seven different uh, I call them maps because <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like black ops. They have seven different uh, maps. No, I like maps. it. Maps yeah. just stay with it. Yeah. yeah. So the one in the woods, uh, I bought the boys smoke grenades and paint grenades. Oh shit! So none of them worked out, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that way they could just mess with them. But it was the only people left on our team was the boys, and the only person left on the enemy team was fucking Rainbow Six. And they, I'm watching them go through the woods. We're in the protected area where there's a screen, so you got your mask up. We're watching, and they're they're coming. They're both moving forward, you know, shooting, moving forward, like doing well. And I'm yelling at the Rainbow Six. I'm like, just go ahead and surrender. You know what I mean? You're not gonna <laughs> fucking make it. You're gonna die. And I was hope. I'm like, don't fucking, because our team needed it. Because we won like the first two matches. Uh-huh. This is like five matches later, all L's oh, because that shit. Rainbow Six kid was fucking souped up paintball. How gun. old do you think Rainbow Six was? Oh, like late twenties, maybe you know. Okay, so maybe twenty five. Okay, I don't know about. Uh, so anyway, they they caught him and they fucking killed him. Hell yeah! And I everybody's high five. Yeah, like, fuck yes. yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, man. So I was proud of the boys for that. Uh, stalking this. Yeah, how'd fucking, they take him out? Like, what was it like a they specific just shot move? Him. No, well, just, I mean, like, yeah, did they bound like come around and no, get behind I don't think them, they or? had like a in depth plan. I think they were just both kind of moving and shooting, and he. He was, like, in the middle, so he would have to shoot at one, get behind cover, shoot at the other one, and they were just stalking, and they ended up getting close enough to kill him. I almost killed him, and I was so fucking pissed before I got out. Like, the ref was like, hey, he's he moved now. He's not, you know, he moved locations, because I was kind of pinned down. Yeah. And I'm, like, 
fuck everybody else. I'm killing <laughs> yeah. Rainbow Six. Yeah, you just want him. <laughs> I came up behind him, and uh, he didn't even see me coming, and I'm trying to walk, you know, I'm trying to duck walk. I'm trying to move quietly through the woods. There's leaves crunching. This is fall. And uh, I, I know uh, he's going to hear me, so I start running. And as I'm running, I start shooting. I shoot. Like 12, 16 paintballs don't hit him. He <gasps> shoot, he shoots me and kills me. Fuck. And I'm like, there's no way you didn't get hit, motherfucker, you know? And <laughs> I walk off, He's and then I'm watching. shit. And our buddy Lopez gets killed, and then it's just the boys left, and uh, they fucking killed this dude. So, yeah, shouts out to them. Dude, that's was, great, that man. Great, man. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, when you see, like, I, one of my favorite things about paintball is, like, when you see the hit, like, because sometimes, obviously, like, when you right. shoot, you just lose the paintball. Sometimes you could, like, watch it all the way. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. like, when you see it hit, you, like, hit him in the mask or, oh, like, yeah, right yeah. in the eyes, and then you just see the paint, you're like, fuck yeah. yes. But then I've also, more times than I've done that shot and see it hit somebody is where I pop my head out and I see somebody pop out, fire, and I see the paintball all the way to my mask. Yeah, dude. Like, when you see it, you're just like, ah, oh, shit. Like, you know. Like you pick it up, you have the time to have the thought, but you know you're not gonna get out yeah. of the way. It just boom, I'm like fuck. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, dude, and it fucking it it does hurt, man. I got hit like right on the back, like where my your fucking kidneys are in it. Oh yeah, like that soft spot in the back. I got hit there a couple times. Like, I got hit everywhere because, yeah. like I said, I would get hit, and I'm like, I'm not giving up. Like, yeah, you know, unless, unless the out. ref is like, <laughs> there was a couple times. There was one time where it was me and one dude left. And I was out of ammo. <clears throat> so I'm just shooting because they don't know, you know. Yeah, if, they just hear it. They just hear it. <laughs> and then I got hit a couple times. I'm like, fuck this. So I, then I put my arm up and I walk <laughs> off, you know. I, I, dude, I remember, I don't know if you remember seeing this. We were doing paintball with the Army. And they always say, you know, keep your mask on. So what happens is you get hit or the ref is like, hey, you're hit. You're out. You have, you walk off the course. And then there's like a net you could get behind if, if you're at a professional place. They, we didn't have that luxury in the Army, of course. but And we didn't have refs in the Army either. It was like the honor system. Yeah. But uh, so you keep your mask on, you put your hand up, and then you try to walk off the map, of course, and, and then watch it from a safe distance. But uh, even after you get hit, man, it's not unlikely to you put your hand up and start walking off. You no. get hit a couple times. Yeah, because people aren't paying attention to people right. like that, or like if you're walking in between fire and. Shit. Oh yeah, so yeah, you keep absolutely. you keep your mask on and you try to get off, try to hold your weapon in a way that they know you're trying to leave the course. But even then, if you got a dickhead friend. They see you in the open walking. They might <laughs> fucking shoot you. Or they just pop up from cover, sees movement, and yeah. they know where the enemy is. I, dude, I got shot. I got shot by my own buddy, dude. I was bounding because I like to move. You know what I mean? I rush. <laughs> I rush. Just like I'm playing Black Ops, I rush. So I'm like moving forward. And my buddy Lopez, he's holder. Uh, it's just me and fucking Rainbow Six, dude. And I'm trying to get to him, you know? I'm behind cover. I'm shooting. Get behind more cover. Uh and then, boom, I get hit right, like, where my kidney. And I fucking turn around. I'm like, Lopez, what the fuck, man? And he's like, oh, dude, I didn't know. Like, how, why would, I'm on your team. And, like, it's a smaller map. And they got, yeah. like, wood planks and shit, shit to get behind. And, like, why would I be facing the, that right. way? And why would you shoot me? Yeah. Like, he's like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm my team. I'm getting the kill yeah, anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, holy shit. But, fuck, Lopez. Yeah. But yeah, so it's not uncommon to just get hit at any time. But I remember in the army unit, we were we had those buildings up by Hastings, and uh, this dude gets killed in the building. And they always <laughs> tell you to leave your shit on. He walks to the doorway, has his mask up, and he gets shot right in the fucking mouth. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, dude. And uh, no, I didn't see it. Yeah, he, I don't even think I heard about it. I think it. he got I mean, killed. Him, but... He got killed in the building. He was one of the cops. You know what I mean? Or one of the, I think he was a. Uh, oh. I can't remember, but. Uh, so he put his mask up. He walked right into the doorway to leave the building, and somebody fucking hit him right in the mouth. And I mean, that's his fault. That's his fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're still on the map. Of yeah. course, you definitely have to, like, protection at yeah. all times. Yeah. And watching the well, waiver. It's like he didn't get hit in the eye. Oh, I know, dude. Jesus. Watching the waiver video, the safety video they make you watch beforehand, uh, they show a picture of somebody's eye who got hit, and they said, if you get hit in the eye, you're going to lose that eye. They, they can't save that. That's, it's, that's a lot of a velocity. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, don't, don't get hit. Yeah, I do mine on at all times. <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah. For sure. Oh, that, would, that would hurt. And I remember when we went out for Long Sing, um, I think it was when he had his cover on and he like pulled the trigger. That's right. And, and it the went ball through. shot that went through. It didn't hit anybody, yes. thank God, but it could have because we were in the safety area. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why he had his finger on the trigger in the safety area, <laughs> but... Uh, it's neither here nor there. But, yeah, when it shot through, like, holy shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, and 
Yeah, I don't. I, I, and before you go through that te- area where they test it and they adjust your velocity, but I want to say it's like 185 feet per second. You know what I mean? Like those things fucking Just move, fucking dude. Fly, yep. man. Yeah, it, it's always fun for sure. Like I mean, I until I joined the military, I had a paintball gun and I would go out and shoot things, but I never had played. Okay. You know, just go out and kind of shoot trees or shoot signs yeah. in town or whatever. You yeah. know, nothing too crazy, but. Uh, yeah, I never shot each other or anything. So, okay. but yeah, it was, it was always fun, man. The best time I had was long special yeah. party for sure. Yeah, you know, like with the army guys and just fucking people. Because you definitely know when you're walking through. I like I try to walk off the course quick. Cause somebody's oh, gonna yeah. take because a hundred percent of the army guys. Oh, he's done. Ah, <laughs> yep. Oh, sorry, man, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Like, even if it's just like the legs or something. Yeah, but for well, sure. plus, plus your adrenaline's up, so they. They say, hey, don't shoot anybody within like 15 feet or whatever the rule is. You don't. Yeah, but fuck, you come around the corner, kill. somebody's right there. You're you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, you're not going to say, hey, safety kill or hey, surrender. They, they told us, like, you try to get them to surrender. And if they don't, then shoot them maybe. But yeah, dude, you're shooting at any distance. Your, your adrenaline's going. Uh, you want to get the kill, you don't want to get killed. So yeah, it's, it's so fun, man. Uh, Javi wants to do it for like his birthday next year. Really? So yeah. Get a group up there. Oh, say, yeah. yeah, dude. I'm in. Little, you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. What, what do you like the best? Do you like the close quarters or do you like the woods stuff? Uh, see, I like the woods, but it was harder to – it's a bigger map, so it right. was it was tougher. So I think I like the close quarter stuff because some of those maps, like they do the count, they, you know, thumbs up if you're ready. Then they do each stop, start at opposite sides of the map, usually touching like this iron fence. And uh, they count down, like five, four, and then go, and then everybody yeah. moves into position while they're shooting. There's some of those maps where you could hit, get hits from your side of the map, like. Oh that's yeah, how close yeah, it is. yeah. It's close quarters. They're always one of my favorite things is when they're like three, two, one, go. You always just hear this. Yeah, like yeah. people always just yep. launching mm-hmm. up and just, you know just in case they can hit somebody like you know while they're moving so i always did i was just like shot twice just up in the air oh, yeah. and... i i always i shoot a lot dude so oh I, yeah you go I, through a ton yeah, of yeah i shoot I, i'm always shooting dude either keeping heads down or trying to get tar- on target but yeah i shoot constantly so like every other game i'd have to refill the air <laughs> and then get all new ammo because i'm constantly fucking shooting you know if i see anybody moving or anybody reloading i'm shooting i'm just always yeah. always shooting dude <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I love that, and uh, yeah, just just the army yeah. tactics, and actually, yeah. and it is fun when you're there and you're talking. You know, I s- Brown, where are you at? Yeah. Oh, I'm reloading. Hurry up! Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. just like you're yelling out yep. directions and stuff. It is fun when you can do that. So, oh yeah, and you're always trying to figure out like who's left. You know, how many people? <laughs> where are they at? Who hit you? Where Where are they at? Oh, they're behind that tree down there. Like, all right, uh, communication is it's, it's that's everything, dude. Like if you. Anytime we were successful is because we were communicating and moving as a unit. Mm-hmm. Some people don't move. Like, they stay in that spawn area. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. I'm just going to snipe from right here. <laughs> and me, I'm like, all right, I get to a position, shoot. I'll move to a better position and just keep moving and trying to get close to close to the enemy. So. Have you ever had one of those paint grenades work? Because I've never seen one that worked. Every time yeah. I've gotten one, they've always been done. So they say they'll blow up when they hit the ground. So throw it up. And then once it hits the ground, make sure you, they were like, make sure you let the ref know because uh, that way they could see it. Because once it hits the ground, like it, you pull the pin and the plastic uh, spool, that comes off. And then there's a hole in the top of the balloon. So once it hits the ground, it squirts out of there. But the ref has to be paying attention. So you got to kind of. So when, when it was time in the woods when they were stocking Rainbow Six, the boys had the, the grenade. And I'm like, use a fucking, I'm like, don't, cause I'm like, I know what they're doing. They're trying to be heroes. And yeah. I'm like, don't just, we need the W throw the grenade. So I'm like yelling, take and throw the grenade. <laughs> they, they never throw the fucking grenade. They kill them. But I'm like, don't be heroes, man. This isn't the time for that. But, but yeah. The grenades and the smoke, the smoke put off a decent amount of smoke, but it was like an $8 fucking smoke grenade. You, not, not worth the, it. The, the, the big ones you could get for the 4th of July seemed like they were probably better, but. Oh, that that would have been hilarious. You're out there, and he's just, the ref's like, "What the hell's he lighting?" And you just like brought your own like five minute smoke bomb, <laughs> <off. laughs> yeah, like the military grade. Yeah, because we had some of those last year too. This year for AT, we had smoke. We had uh, yeah. booby traps, so we would set yeah, booby just traps. Just light man. like two or three of them. Just get the whole thing really smoky. Yeah. This way, the refs can't stop the game. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should all go again, man. That was a, yeah. that's a great time. It'd be dude, real it's, fun. It's exciting, dude. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. All been in the Army unit, so uh, we played a tag game. So I kind of want to talk about this. Yeah, you kind of were telling me about it, and it sounded like it was a lot of fun. And you said a guy brought it from, like, AT, right? Like, he they started it up in AT? Or, yeah. Or did he, like, do it in high school and then brought it to, like, the military? You know, or? I can't remember. So we got we got this we got this kid in our Army unit. His name is Rambo. That's his last name. It's, that's like his legit? real name. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So in his uniform, it says Rambo. Uh, that's his name. And he's he's one of the better guys in the unit. He always looks like shit, dude. <laughs> he always and I want to have him on the podcast because he's fucking hilarious, dude. But he always looks like shit. So the first time, the, his first drill, he gets put in our platoon. And, like, that first day, we get a new first sergeant. So where his wife is there. They're doing, like, a change of command ceremony kind of deal. And I look over at Rambo, and his fucking hat looks like shit. It's, like, almost canted, like, Ugh. to the left. So after the what are you on the block, Rambo? <laughs> so after the formation, I went up to him. I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing, Rambo?" And I'm like, "What the fuck's going on with your hat?" I said, "Look at this shit." I said, "You know why the first sergeant's leaving? Because of you. Don't make this new first sergeant leave." So I'm like, "All in his shit." You know what I mean? Like you're fucking embarrassing us. <laughs> like right, the first time I ever met him, I'm just all over him. I'm like, "Your hat looks like complete dog shit." Like you're embarrassing everybody. That's why the first sergeant's leaving. <laughs> your lieutenant's right there, and that's how your hat looks. He's never met me before, but I'm all over him. And then since then, like he's, he just looks like shit no matter what, dude. We're out in the field, and he just looks like, he looks like dog shit. So like his fucking helmet's fucked up his vest is fucked up i'm like rambo like you know you could adjust all this stuff so like i'm adjusting his chin strap i'm adjusting is he just his not vest. give a fuck or what he what just is looks it? like shit so we spent all this time so me and another sergeant are like fucking tightening up his straps on his ballistic vest we're tightening up his helmet straps and doing all this shit and like you could adjust this stuff and tape it and 10 minutes later he looks like shit again like he just <laughs> looks shitty in a uniform man he looks like i don't know how to explain it, but he's hilarious dude he's hilarious so uh, I, w- I told him about the podcast. He wants to be on the podcast. You'll love him. He's, Good. He reminds yeah. me of, of young, a young Mastin. Oh, shit. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah. he's a younger kid then? Nah, well, he's probably 30. Okay. He's, probably yeah, 30. So he, he's, he, he's new to the Army, but he's... Waited a long time to do it. Okay. But, uh, so, no, he's he's a he's a, he's a good dude. And we, we uh, like, we were in the, in the field out in Minnesota, uh, I'm in his head now because he's in my platoon <laughs> so all day so we have this mission we're right on the mississippi river and uh we have this mission we just have to s- secure this area provide security and then set up a decon site a, de- a unit got hit with chemical weapons they're doing a lot of chemical weapon stuff because of north korea and russia so we s- secure this area and then uh the unit comes in gets decon and then we we pop okay so I take the corner where if I was the enemy, I would come from here for sure. There's a river. There's a big road. There's an open field. So we have a 360 perimeter. But I'm like, there's, where we were at, was a, there was a dirt road and a building with a fence. And I'm like, the only way they could get to us with them, with us not seeing them is this way. Because they of the come, building? Because of the building, because of the woods and the dirt road. I said, anywhere else they come from, they either got to come <laughs> across the river or they're going to have to come through an open field. It'd be or, a pretty ballsy yeah. move to come across the river. Yeah, or the main road. So I said, Rambo, just all day I'm in his head. He's on the 50 cow and I'm below him. This is around the time I was eating the wet I'm a MRE. Okay. I told you about that. I'm outside telling a story, put my food down, come back to it. It's covered in food, eating in rain. So Rambo's up on the 50 cal, and I'm just like, hey, uh, you know what your job is today, Rambo? And he's like, what is it? I was like, it's to fucking snatch souls and send them directly to hell. <laughs> so I'm in his head all day like, we're going to, what are we doing today? We're stacking bodies, right? We're going to kill. We're going to kill everybody that fucking moves. And I <laughs> I even, t- like, I'm getting in his head, you know, and I'm like, I, I don't give a fuck if they're friendly. We're killing people. We're throwing them in the river today. We're killing everybody. Does he get today. pumped? Is yeah, he so he's, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He's, yeah, he's getting, yes, Sergeant Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, so he's getting pumped, and I keep, you know, talking about stacking bodies. That's our fucking mission. Go don't worry about any of this chemical shit, the decon shit. Our mission is to snatch souls, <laughs> send them to hell, put their bodies in the river. And all day long, I'm talking about this. And then uh, we make contact, dude. Oh, so uh, so I get down on the – there's a fence line, and I'm looking down this dirt road, and there's movement. And then there's shooting. 
So then we're firing back. I'm like, man, we'll get that fucking 50 going. <laughs> and it's got blank rounds, but it's still a 50 cal oh, machine gun. So it's doom, 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 doom. So he's fucking busting shots. Hell yeah. Chains and fucking brass is falling on, on the, in the truck and outside the truck. I have somebody else come over with the saw. Now the saw's going. Fuck. And they're moving. Yeah, so we're going. We're fucking in contact. So I call them. Hey, we're in tick. Uh, the OC comes over uh, after we kill one of the dudes. The other dude's bounding. He, he he says, hey, you're hit. Because I'm the one talking. I'm on the, you know what I mean? And he's like, we got to get this guy out of the fight, you know? Yeah. So he's like, hey, you're hit. So then I'm like, hey, come down. So now somebody has to put a tourniquet on my leg. They said I got shot in my leg. They got to call in a nine line. So I'm still directing, you know, like, hey, call a nine line medevac. Hey, you come over here. You get on the, because the guy on the saw started doing medical aid and i'm like we need that machine gun going Go, yeah so yeah. then they're like all right you're, you're unconscious now oh uh, like, well, of course <laughs> <laughs> but but the, after the guys didn't even need me they did what they were supposed to do. awesome somebody yes. jumped on the uh the saw without me even having to tell them oh you know, dude before that's that. great and, yeah uh but no it was that's what you that's what you want to see yeah for sure you want to so. see that yeah soldiers didn't need my guidance but and that was exciting man it was a lot of adrenaline these guys that were doing uh the op four the opposing force they were legit dudes i can't remember where they were from mm-hmm. they might have been special forces guys which are they always say that like all the guys that are the enemy uh they're they're soft guys and it's like, yeah right they're not <laughs> they, they're definitely not out here yeah. training national guard they literally just killed rambo <laughs> yeah. his gear was all fucked up they got a shot in his... <laughs> but no i think the, the guys were they're definitely combat guys the way they moved and uh their guerrilla tactics but no it was it was fun and that's exciting and yeah, that's just a story about Rambo. So Rambo brought this tag game, and I don't know where he got it from. I can't remember, but how it works is uh, somebody's it, like any tag game. The only thing is you can only tag somebody if they're reaching for you. So they have to n- initiate, like, you don't have, they don't even have to initiate it, but I can only tag you, like, if, if I'm like, hey, man, I try to give you a high five or a hug or something like that, or I, I hand you, I could hand you, like, a, a cup. Uh-huh. Like, all you... You, you want to drink here, man? And then I could be like, tag your it. But I can't just walk up and tag you. Oh, okay. So, so but you can initiate, like, hey, I yeah, can, yeah, I can, yeah, I can have it. a five and then you yes. can do it. Okay. Yep. You don't have, you don't have to, they don't have to initiate it. Okay. Either. I thought, I didn't know if you had to wait for like the person, like for you. They have to, I mean, they have to move towards you. Yeah. So say, yeah. So say if you go to hand me the cup and I go, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just so, set and, it down. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it is. So now everybody's paranoid, man. So, like, you do something good, you're like, oh, man, that's fucking awesome. And you're like, nah. <laughs> yeah. And the, 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 do you ever forget who's it? Or absolutely. You... All the time. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was switch. And it was usually, so it would be like, a, I got hit last last drill. Like, I, something happened. They were like, hey, man, good job, dude. And I went to give them, high, you know, a dap. And I'm like, hey, you're it. And I was like, oh, man, that sucks. And then, like, 10 seconds later, I'm dapping somebody else. I'm like, hey, man, you're it. You know, so I, when I get it, I get rid of it immediately. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. So, and the, the worst is at the end of drill. Like, if you know you're not going to see, you don't want to be it for a whole month. You know, so <laughs> the end of drill, you don't fucking I, I was, talk to I was going to ask, is that how it works? So whoever's it brings it back. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. They stay it. So somebody's it right now. They're at drill right now. <laughs> I wanted to talk about that too, man, because it's been a fucking phenomenal weekend. But, yeah, so everybody's highly suspicious of anybody, man. And the... The, the the hardest part is if somebody has a good food, you know, because yeah. you know how it is in the army. Everybody's hungry. You see somebody with some fritos or some shit like that, some chetos. <laughs> you're like, oh shit, dude, you got chetos? Hey, let me get some. Boom, you're it. And then you get got. Fuck. So yeah, you, you got to be high because you can not touch people all day. Like, yeah, I, I'll hug you maybe another time. And there's timeouts and there's rules for that, but uh, you just learn to be real uh, cautious with any kind of contact, you know. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, I, no, I'll take some of those. Just set them down on the table and I'll grab them. Like, don't hand them to me. And then, but but if if, if, you're, if the whole platoon was around, you kind of, like, hey, who's it right now? Oh, right. so-and-so is it. So then you... Like, Dude, that does seem like it would be a fun game, like, with a big group of yeah, people. Yeah. Like, if you go somewhere on, like, a vacation or something, like, hey, we're going to play yeah. the tag game, like, the for the weekend or whatever yep. with, like, ten people. Oh, like, yeah. that would be pretty fun. But. Yeah, dude. Uh, and, and, and in Minnesota, I mean, it's three weeks. We were in the woods. Oh, we, perfect. No TV. You know, I mean, so we were doing stupid shit to stay entertained. Rambo would tell scary stories that night, dude. Oh, and really? he had tons of them. He didn't, he just knew them. So uh, he would be great for the podcast. So yeah, he would, we'd be going to sleep and he'd tell like these scary stories, man. <laughs> and he was great at telling stories. And it was just, it made, it made it more bearable to be out there with, we got a really good platoon. Yeah. Uh, we're called the Purple Cobras. And our motto is, we eat ass. <laughs> so we're always talking about eating ass. And Rambo doesn't eat ass. So we, the whole AT, we talked about it. And so he'd be on the phone with his girlfriend. And like, tell her you're going to eat her ass. And she's like, 
She didn't care or whatever, but he's like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> just to see some of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, one of the best either tags that you have done or seen or has been done on you? Like one that's like pretty damn. One that sticks out? Yeah. Do you, I mean, I know because it's like reaching out, so it's probably yeah. used it for like a high five and stuff. But when you get. I, I, anytime somebody gets got good, it's kind of everybody laughs. Not like the one, two, three game, but it's still right. exciting. But none of them, none of them stick out in my head of. Of uh, like epic ones, yeah. so I've got got a, b- a bunch, and I I just turn right right immediately try to get somebody else, you know. Uh, yeah, you can't live with that on you. Yeah, no, <laughs> I got enough shit I got to worry about. <laughs> Do my sergeant shit. On, I don't have time, so I get rid of it right right off the bat, you know. Did you tell the new unit about the one two three? Game? I did. We never started to play, yeah. and I, I it took me a while to actually bring it up because I'm like it's gonna get people in fucking trouble, you know. Oh yeah. But uh, I did talk about it. We've never done it. You know what I mean? So a lot of the people know about it, but yeah, we just I just didn't implement it. And we don't do it much at work either. Yeah. Uh, every now and then, but I should bring it back. Maybe around Christmas time, I'll bring the bunch of three game back because we had some really good ones at work. You know. Yeah. Do you think anybody will try to stick you with being it for your last drill next month? You know, I didn't even think of that. I would definitely be on I'll because be on high then alert. If, yeah, because then. If they try to like that's how they try to get the game out of the unit. They've been like, we're just waiting for Brown to come <laughs> yeah. back, and yeah. he's not. Kind of, he's like permanent it because that would be horrible. Would I don't be think you could retire then. I have to come back for one more drill. <laughs> yeah, that would suck, dude. I didn't even think of that, man. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so this, and we talked about it on the last podcast, but I have one drill left, uh-huh. and uh, this I was supposed to be at drill this weekend. We talked about podcasting. It's been busy, man. We talked about that. So it's been months since we've recorded. And, of course, every time you, like, hey, this this three-day weekend works for me, I'll look at my calendar. I'm either at the firehouse or, or, or like, worst-case scenario, which happens a bunch, is, like, I have that whole weekend off, but I have drill. Yep. And it's like, you got to be That happens almost me. every, every time. time. I got this whole weekend off. What about you? Nope, I got fucking drill. So this drill, I was like, yeah, no fucking way I'm going to drill. I'm, I'm recording. This is the only day that works, so. I, t- I told him like I have uh and I could have retired last month. Right. So when they told me when when do you want your last day to be? I told them well December 31st of 2018 uh but uh, I don't I can't drill in November. And they're like okay. So when I filled out my excusal form I said some shit like at some family reunion <laughs> down I'm going to Texas or I made some just stupid thing up I wrote out and it got approved. So they're all in the woods uh tent life out in the rain cold oh. doing night ops yeah last it's a night. shitty weekend it's a too. shitty weekend they're doing night ops last night they had the night vision goggles they're gonna take out and we're, we're feasting podcasting <laughs> just having a fantastic weekend and I, my phone's blowing up like it, i've looked over at it and it's like every it just keeps lighting up and new text messages i, I guarantee it's the army group text and they're trying to figure <laughs> shit out and, uh it's gotta make you feel good makes you feel good man <laughs> yeah it's even as of yesterday morning it started. Hey, everybody in the motor pool now. Hey, where's so and so? Hey, we're leaving. We're SP time. It's <laughs> zero eight thirty. I'm just looking at my phone like, <laughs> sucks to suck. Yeah, you fucks. So, no, oh, that's great, man. But you gotta be excited to be getting out. Like I know you've been wanting to get the twenty like for a while, yeah. and so it, it's gotta feel good. You don't gotta worry about it. You don't have to go on ATs again. And yeah, it's gotta feel great. Yeah, man, it feels it feels really good. Twenty years is a long time. Uh, the unit I'm in now, it's not the same as, as our unit right. as far as morale, as far as having fun, it's, the job is different. It's not, I don't know, man, it kind of sucks. Uh, nobody wants to be there. Morale's awful, you know, and we have a good platoon. We try to make the best of it, you know, but even then it's just like, we always have late drills, you know, like Saturday night, most of the time it's overnights. Uh, we're, we got to set up tents and take all our fucking weapons. And that it just takes to get all your personal weapons and then your 40, your 50 cal, 40 cals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that new? <laughs> is that just something you're starting off? 50 cal and your crew serve weapons, your 240s and mount those and then get in the trucks and then go out, set up a tent, set up your area. Like it's, you're doing so much prep work that when it's time for training, it's like, fuck, we don't even have that much time for training. We, you know, it takes all day to get to a location and then occupy that location. And, um, so, so anyway, it, when we do have, it's not an overnight. I still won't get home. Saturday, I'll get home at like 8, 7, 8. And then Sundays, it's like uh, we're done. It seems like we're done at like 3 or 4, and then we're just waiting around. Yeah. What the fuck are we waiting? We get done at like 6 on a Sunday, come home, see Cam and the boys, eat dinner, and then just get ready to for the week to start, you know. But I missed a, a lot of things, you know. 
I spent two years overseas in the army and between Korea and Bosnia and then uh, missed a lot of holidays when I was active duty. Uh, and then just with the reserves the last 16 years, dude, that's one weekend every month where, uh, which doesn't sound like it's it that bad. Like and, it, that and it really isn't all that bad, no. but it, it just, it does suck. Especially when you got to do all that stuff and you try to plan other stuff. Yeah. And it's like, you it, always have drill weekends. It's always, there's a party or somebody's not like, there's a lot of parties, but like, uh, Oh, there's a going away party this month, or there's a retirement party, or a birthday party, or something yeah. like. Well, oh, I can't go. I'll be at drill, you know. Uh, family members stuff, and yeah, I just missed a lot of events, you know. And then in the summer, you know, it's cut my time short with my daughter, and just going somewhere every summer for a few weeks, and yeah. So it, I'll be really happy to be done to have all my more of my because I miss a lot of weekends just because of work, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, holidays and weekends, the, the fire department's working, you know. So I work Christmas, I work New Year's, I've worked every holiday there is, and I don't mind it. You know, I'd, yeah. Whatever we'll we'll do our Christmas on another day, and then we yeah, have our work Christmas. I mean, you're gonna get it to where the day's off, the way that it rotates yeah. oh, yeah. and stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's not. Plus, that's your job, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah. So, but yeah, having more weekends free and time free, and then yeah, the retirement. Once I'm 60, I'll get a pension for the rest of my life every month, and I have insurance if I want it. That Tricare insurance, and there's other perks, and I'll have my military ID forever, and I can go to the base. I can go to the base gym. Go to the picks. So there's benefits and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy, you know? Yeah, dude, it, it's going to be a uh, blast. Hopefully you do throw a party and hopefully we'll be able to make it. Yeah. So I think, like I said, you know, a lot of army people that come through, even if it's not for like until the summer or something, yeah. you know, but yeah, it'd be fun. Cause to, uh, obviously you didn't go to jail, but you're making it up. You still yeah, have to I'll make it up. up. I'll make you're it gonna, up this you said you're going to go in and turn in all your yep. gear and stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to make it up this month. Uh, I'm going to turn in my gear. I got a lot of gear. I have a lot of extra gear. So what I have to do is from 20 years, you know, I have a couple sleeping bags, I have a couple army cots, I have Gore-Tex jackets. So I have extra stuff. So I got to print out my clothing record. I have it already printed out, but to see what exactly I owe this unit. And then I'm keeping the other shit. Some of that shit I'll get rid of. Some of that shit I'll keep, you know. Yeah. Like Gore-Tex pants, wet weather pants. Yeah, and you'll definitely have, like, you you should have everything for all the stuff that you yeah. accumulate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. I got extra. Dude, how do you feel about pausing the podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right, we're going to take a pause X. Yeah, we'll be right back in your ear, like, real quick to you. <laughs> All right, and we're back, which was like literally less than a second for you guys. We so are live. <laughs> you guys know we had to take breaks Sunday morning. You know how it is. <laughs> Sunday morning has been a long, but great weekend, man. <laughs> we consumed a lot of things. things. <laughs> we feasted. We drank. Ate stuff. Smoked stuff. Did stuff. Did stuff, for sure, man. The gluttony. <laughs> debauchery yeah dude so uh i, I did want to tell you about the <laughs> banana split fire which is such a great name because you so you've been telling me about it yeah. i had literally have no idea oh yeah yeah what it like this entails like at all so you're saying banana split fire banana split fire so we had a the last day of the set we always do steaks at the firehouse <laughs> okay uh <clears throat> so it was the last day of the set, and uh, we had people at training or something during the day, so we didn't do steaks for lunch. Well, so on a steak day, because every time we do lunch, we do uh, enough for lunch and dinner, so it's big because there's ten of us. So really, it's it, it, when we cook, it's for twenty. Yeah. It's for lunch and dinner. When it's steak day, we just do one steak and then we do leftovers. The last day stuff we cook throughout the set. That's we always have leftovers. We do leftovers. Sometimes we'll have to buy stuff for dinner. We'll just buy something cheap if there's not leftovers, but usually there's meals that you got a ton of food left over. So this day we did steak at night because of the schedule during the day. So uh, we grill up steaks. Of course, our steaks are gigantic, dude. And we <laughs> use that. I still do that dressing that I love, man. And late. So and what that is, I'll go over that again. It's just cream cheese, uh, blue cheese, feta cheese, shredded parm cheese, That's and right. a stick of butter. Yeah. All right. The last two times we made it, we replaced the blue cheese with a gargonzola. And I don't know what the difference is, but it's fucking bomb. Uh, do you like it way better? That I way? like it better. Okay. I like it better. So we did the steaks. We do the cheese dressing, baked potato, garlic bread, and the veggie for a side. I smash. I'm full as fuck. But we bought stuff the engine's cooking. They got stuff for banana splits. So I'm like, hey, make me a banana split. Nobody makes me a banana split. So I make one for myself. 
Even though there's three bras at the firehouse, I don't know why I gotta make my <laughs> you own know, fucking plates. You know, I've only had a banana split once in my life. Really? Like one one time ever, and I was like probably like 16, 17, maybe even a little bit older, and I had never had one, and I got one. I mean, it was all right. Uh, I I want to try it now again yeah. that I'm older just to see if it was like because I just remember being meh. Yeah, like I wasn't like, oh, this is everything, no. or like this is like total dark shit. I was just kind of in the middle. So I wonder if now, like that, I'm older since my taste buds have changed. Yeah. If I would either really hate it or really like it. I'm not a big banana guy. Uh, to me, I don't give a shit if the banana's in there. I just put ice cream. Everything else makes it good. Okay. The banana's just okay. Right. You know, so I make a big fucking bowl of banana split, dude. A monster bowl. It's a full banana, a few scoops of ice cream, a bunch of whipped cream, hot fudge, caramel. Uh, Sounds delicious. Nuts. Oh, mm. hell so yeah! I have all this, the nuts. All the nuts. Put all the nuts on there. So I fucking eat this big fucking bowl of ice cream. I can't hardly move, dude. So within oh no within <laughs> within five. So I'm full, dude. I eat, you're already full before the banana yeah. split. So I eat big steak, all the sides, garlic bread, stuff myself like a disgusting fat body. <laughs> Then I eat a monster bowl of uh, <laughs> banana split, you know, with all the whipped cream and all of it. So then I'm like, oh, I can't even move. Within five minutes of finishing that, the tones oh. go off. It's a house fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, You're in, like, mid-diabetic <laughs> coma yeah. at this yeah. point. So uh, I'm like, oh, oh boy. You know, this is happening. <laughs> so we get fire calls quite a bit. And, you know, like a the higher percentage is that it's nothing it's food on the stove it's just the stove you know right. burnt food uh sometimes it's a neighbor that sees smoke as a fire pit because <clears throat> we'll get calls for automatic fire detection pull station alarms and then a fire alarm and the fire alarm's a different tone it's the warble so you know it's a fire but even those you know yeah it could be somebody using a, their fire pit in the backyard and the neighbor's just pissed uh you know that kind of thing so you never know so i just I try to, to stay cool no matter what, even if it is a working fire. You have it, to stay sometimes calm. you know it's going to be legit when they say, hey, there's multiple colors on this. Uh, it's a working fire. Or we could see fire coming out of the station. We'll see smoke from my, you know a few miles away. We'll issue a working fire right away. And that gets more resources, resources going. So I don't remember any additional info. I think this is fire on the second floor. Uh we pull up and there's the fucking blowtorch coming out of the fucking second floor room. <laughs> oh, and it's a big house, dude. It's this old house. And I'm just like, yep, oh, this is going to be a long <laughs> night, man. So imagine eating a big boy meal and a giant dessert and then working out for two, three hours. Oh, God. Going to the gym and just working out two, three hours. Plus working out with gear, with a full suit, 60 pound, you know, worth of gear in a mask. Breathing on a respirator and zero visibility. You know what I mean? Like this is like literally the worst thing. Yeah, you the could worst do. thing you could do. <laughs> Nobody would ever eat that much food and work out. You wouldn't do it. But in this, I didn't have the choice. I didn't have the luxury. So I'm just all right. Here we go. So I fucking pack up. We go in. We do a search. It's hot. It's fucking zero visibility. Uh, like, fuck it. I'm gonna die. You know how I'm gonna die. I think that this is I how it all is. Yeah. <laughs> But I just remembered, you know, telling Andy, my captain, I'm like, dude, I'm so full, man. I like, ain't up and had a split. Did but, you try to, like, or did you even cross your mind, like, if you had a break? Like, I didn't know, like, if there's a moment where you could, puke? like, try to make yourself puke. No, or... I, I, you know, so we, we get the fire out. We go, I can't, I can't remember. This is a few fires ago. We make entry, and I can't remember. It's the first floor or the second floor. We work our way up the stairs and all that, and then. Uh, then we're doing so we get the fire knocked down after a bit and then we got to do overhaul so we're pulling ceiling we're pulling everything uh that's a lot of work man and then uh i just I just remember saying oh my fucking stomach dude i can't i'm worried i'm worried about puking in my mask because yeah. if you puke in your mask it has you're nowhere not gonna to be go. able to breathe yeah uh so i guess that's probably a bigger problem you can't breathe <laughs> you can't and it breathe. has nowhere to go yeah. yeah it doesn't have anywhere to go you have to swallow it so oh, this is making me think we're gonna puke just thinking about it dude <laughs> but so like i've never puked in my mask uh i don't intend to but i was hurt man and you know i'm not gonna slow down i gotta go i mean i'm working with i work with somebody you know uh andy's an aggressive fireman and he's the captain me and him go in we search for victims you know that's yeah. what our job is our primary role is uh to do a search so the engine they pull attack lines in they fight the fire we go in we force entry 
and then we uh, we do a search to make sure that there's nobody in there dead or alive or uh, and then the other crew of the truck the other half of the truck they do ventilation so they'll set up a positive pressure fan they'll go to the roof they'll cut a hole in the roof sometimes we stay together to do a search or to do ventilation on the roof uh, if there's a second truck coming but the tip the truck we typically split crews so Andy's moving we're going through this building <laughs> trying to find the fire trying to find any victims <laughs> and I'm just sucking dude I'm sucking bad but I survived everything was fine Andy was like, dude, you kept talking about your fucking stomach. You all right? I said, yeah, I'm all right now. <laughs> it was a lot of hard work, man. I mean, it was hours, hours yeah. out there. You're just, like, forcing yourself not to throw yeah. up. So, so what happens is we'll get the fire knocked down. We'll do a little bit of overhaul. We'll check the ceilings behind the walls. We, but we got to pull. We got to get behind to see if there's any fire so it doesn't rekindle. So we'll do enough of that that we know the fire's done. And then we have to wait for the investigators they show up. They got the arson dog. This was an arson. Somebody oh, threw uh, gasoline on the stairwell or uh, like a Molotov cocktail on the stairwell and lit this this building. So, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know if it's an insurance deal or what, but... Uh, yeah, but you kill people. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So uh, right, we got to wait for the investigators. So then we're drinking water. We're drinking Gatorade. Usually the... Uh, the fucking Red Cross shows up. They'll give us warm stuff. They'll give us... You know, water and Gatorade, they volunteered to do that. Oh, that's They're great. awesome. Yeah, awesome that's people that's to great. do that. <clears throat> so, and then, so we're waiting for them. And we're just kind of fill up bottles, uh, clean up a little bit, and then we'll get stuff ready, shovels, buckets, and then the truck, we go back in after the investigation or sometimes during the investigation. If it's a death investigation, that takes a long, long time. Be- being this is an arson, it, it takes it takes long, too, if they know it, it's arson. So they have to take pictures of everything and do a thorough investigation and you have to interview be there the witnesses whole time. We're, we're there usually the whole time once they get their pictures all the evidence they need the interviews we go in and then we overhaul and we oh, okay. throw shit on the lawn you know like we'll take mattresses so the, okay so the overhaul debris. happens before or after all of that the big stuff. the big overhaul does yeah we b- before and, <clears throat> and it just depends like we just want to make sure all the fires done right but you don't we, want to have to go back <laughs> yeah yeah we don't want to we we just we just had that just recently the other shift had a fire at like two in the morning oh my god i got my fucking ass whooped there too uh the other shift had a fire in the morning they told us about it and then like an hour in our shift so like 8 a.m it rekindled it was this trucking company oh, fuck. so i'm on the fucking ladder the truck ladder the 100 foot ladder and i'm against this tin metal shop and uh, i have the circular saw and I'm cutting with it, and it's a heavy saw, and it's a bitch, dude. I, 15, 20 minutes, I couldn't hardly move anymore. I <clears throat> felt like such a bitch. This was the first, I think this is first day of the set. So I get to oh. work <laughs> within an hour. I'm on this, I got this saw, and it's kicking my ass. It's so heavy. It's to trying kick to kick off a rotation. <laughs> yeah, man. So, <clears throat> but, uh, so yeah, you don't want it to rekindle. And then you got to kind of let the conditions get better. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll monitor for cyanide. We'll monitor for CO. We'll do the four gas in there. And then once it's clear, you can operate in there without a mask. And then now they're saying, if you're overhauling, put a mask on. So I think that night we were, had our mask on. And we're working oh. with it. So it was a lot of work. Dude. Three, four hours, two, three, four hours. Uh, a lot of work, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I, I survived. I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still what here. was that? What point during all of that were, did it finally break where you're like, okay, I think I'm going to be okay? Was it like after? I like, don't think until I got back to the firehouse. Dude. Really? The yeah, whole I was, time. I was, I think any any time you have like a worker like that, uh, you're gassed. I mean, you're hurting. Right. You know? So I was hurting from my stomach was hurting. But the I just felt like you're like, I, where there's I, a point I, I, like I in where you're like, I, I'm past the point where i might not throw up or no, no I, don't think, I don't think i think the whole time so uh we get the fire knocked down we do some overhaul we go out to the truck i change bottles i uh put some gear away other stuff i'm pulling out some more lights and shit and then i sit on the bumper and I, i'm drinking water and i'm just like oh i'm gonna i felt just bad i don't think i felt good made yourself i probably should have just made myself throw up man uh we get back to the firehouse then you have to clean the saws you change saw blades fill up the fan uh fill up the chainsaw wipe down the ladders wipe down the gear write down your face mask try to wash off the shit off your uniform maybe get your backup uniform up if you got a backup uniform uh and then you got a shower and then get something to eat i think 
and it, this came in at nighttime and at whatever time we got back to the firehouse is probably midnight, you know, and right. I'm exhausted, dude. So I shower and by, I think when I got to my bed, I probably started feeling better. But I don't, <laughs> it, that, it was awful, man. Yeah. Awful, awful. Well, just with being, I'm sure like all that sugar sit yeah, and, even, and all your food and then exerting that much, there's yeah. just like, doesn't know what to do. And even without the banana split, I would have been hurting. Oh yeah, I know mean, exactly. Worker, but, uh, <laughs> It, the banana split did not help. Yeah. So I don't haven't eaten a banana split since. Yeah, still worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna be like you. I might not ever eat another banana split ever in my life. Dude, that sucks. Like within five minutes too. Not it, like yeah, I didn't even have my bowl like washed in the sink or anything. Uh, it was uh, yeah, boom. The tones hit off, and I'm like, is that it. the first time that's happened to you that you could think of, or? Cause, I mean, with as busy no. as the station that you're, on, I'm yeah. sure it happens often. Yeah, we go out all day, all night, so. Every nap time, I, almost every time I nap at, after lunch, it, tones go off. But yeah, I've had tones go off in the shower, shitting, pissing, eating, eating all the time because right. I eat all the time. <laughs> so half the time we're eating, the tones go off. We, I put a napkin over my plate when I go to the call, come back and finish eating. But uh, for a fire, that's probably the worst like eating one that I've been to. You yeah, know? it's usually the opposite. It's usually like. You get one bite into your steak, and then the tones go off, and you're like, "Fuck, my steak's yeah. gonna be cold." It's, you know, you can't rewarm it. It's, but yeah, that that's way better. Than, <laughs> that's way better than finishing all that food and then immediately going to exert myself for hours. That uh, just, they're not good. Yeah, that absolutely sounds horrible. Yeah. It's just right in your gut. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have probably made myself throw up. But you're a goddamn man or soldier. <laughs> <laughs> shit dude that's a great story though uh how long ago was that just a few months ago yeah it was it was hot so oh, that's even <laughs> like, <laughs> it was summertime <laughs> yeah because we're, we're, we're in november so maybe maybe it was august like it, it was, you know yeah it, it, maybe it was last month i don't know it was after at yeah. so it was yeah i think it was uh september <laughs> but it was still it was hot it was a hot night you know Oh, it just it's just absolutely the worst. And then I'm yelling at other people like, "Why the fuck do you make banana split? Why <laughs> would you? Eat? That's not even a good idea in the way he likes banana. Yeah, like, like it's, ever. It's everybody else's fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Why didn't you make it for me? Would have made so much. <laughs> Would have made so much. <laughs> I asked you to make it. You didn't even make it. I had to do it myself. Man, yeah. That, I was in the I was in the suck, dude. For real. Yeah. That yeah, was absolutely horrible. <laughs> <clears throat> just ridiculous. But yeah, I know. Like last time we had podcast, you were talking about like shows and stuff, um, yep. and I never brought up probably because I just forgot. But I d- I finally did finish The Wire That's like awesome, not dude. long ago, like all five seasons I think Damn. there are. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Like I can see, and it's an old enough show. Like I get started in the early two thousands. And then it just recently ended, like, when I mean, like, recently, like, it went on longer than I thought. Like, okay. it was spread out. For, yeah, I thought there was only four seasons, but. It's just four or five. It was okay. 60 total, total episodes, okay. however long. But, I mean, like, I Ooh. thought, like, it had ended, like, 10 years ago. But I think it's, like, you know, okay. like, sooner than that. Um, and you can IMDb it later and, and look at it. But. You could tell it was kind of dated because it was coming out like you know when cell phones were hitting oh, and yeah. stuff. So, but it wasn't that bad. There's just like some stuff you're like, well, it'd be obviously way different. <laughs> but um, I can see when people say it's one of the best shows of all time. I can really see why it's people so good, would dude. say that. I wouldn't consider it the best show of all time um, for me, um, only because like I've watched it, you know, after so many years. So, but you know, if I got onto it, I can definitely say I just love how. Um, to me, I feel it was like the a show the first show that i remember it was about the same thing but it literally each season was a different point yeah. of view yeah so there's like you know other people that do cross over and that you see mm-hmm. from you know all the seasons but um it, i absolutely loved it it definitely was not what i thought it was gonna be yeah. i thought it was gonna be way more action when i first watched um so it took me a little bit to get used to that but it is definitely up there i would put it I, every show I finish watching, I'm usually like, oh, that's like a top 10 show for me. But, um, did yeah. You have a, did you have a favorite season? Um, the season two, which was where the, the docs, that, that was a really good okay. season. This last season, like with the, um, 
the last season was like the newspaper people. Okay. And I really did like it would have been the second to last season. There's some parts that I liked, but I didn't. But it was about the school, and I, I kind of really liked like so what they I, did with the school. So I caught episodes here and there. The school season, I watched the whole thing, and then yeah. I think I watched the season after that. But I really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah I mean, though, it, it, it's all great. But yeah, I mean, and it's cool just to see like all the different people. So like uh, Gabriel, the, who's the um, the priest in The Walking Dead. Yeah. He's like one of the, like he's in. Like the entire show, yeah. and he's like one, not one of the main guys, but they like go to him a lot. So it was like cool to see yeah. him, you know, there. And uh, yeah, it was, just, I just absolutely loved it. I'm definitely in a, a big show hole at the moment. So I, um, at the time of recording this, I just finished it within the last two to three weeks. Okay. So um, I don't know what I'm going to go to next. Like, there are some things that, because uh, as we had talked about last podcast, I watched like the Marvel. Uh, universe on uh, Netflix, so we're just kind of waiting to watch Luke Cage with the wife because she watches that, and then I can you know move on. But I know I watch Meat Eater too. It's a hunting show. Yeah, I know. I've watched and a few just, episodes of that. Uh, came out, but I should be able to blow through that because each episode is like twenty two minutes. Okay. So I should be able to get through that whenever I start it up. But my next big big like series I want to watch I haven't decided um, just because I would really like to get caught up on all of this Marvel stuff and then yeah. blow through but I do have like Parks and Rec I know a lot of people oh, yeah, love yeah. that I've never seen that so I oh, have yeah, that good, on dude. there um, <clears throat> at one point I always said I would love to go through and watch The Sopranos but um, I don't I, I want to at some point but I'm not in a big hurry to do that yeah. so I don't know if I'll, I'll do that next uh, but I think probably just like hunting shows uh, for right now and then um, do you like have any suggestions for like older shows? <sighs> older shows, I don't know, man. Yeah. I know HBO was solid. Sopranos mm-hmm. is solid. Oz, stuff like that. Uh, the Wire, yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, because uh, that was the last big one that everybody loved that I hadn't watched. Because I never yeah. watched Breaking Bad when it was up. Yeah, and I've watched through that twice. Uh, we watched Sons of Anarchy. Um, I think like right as the series stopped, we started it up. Like okay. literally, the series finale happened and within two months. My wife and I started it up. Sons, so, uh, yeah, because we knew. I didn't love. I didn't. Love oh, see, I, we loved it. I absolutely loved it. There, there was a while because we watched that. That was one where back then, and I was before I got assigned to where I am now, and bit in. I was kind of all over the place. And every, and that's one show. Like there's certain places that watch certain things. Every firehouse in the city was watching Sons. So I. Yeah pretty much watched the whole thing towards the end i'm like just fucking end it i think the episodes were like an hour and a half long <laughs> so i watched the movie every week they're dragging it out i hate it when they drag shit out man yeah just fucking end it so i, I was it. happy when that was done yeah so for me it was always breaking bad yep. uh sons of anarchy the wire that i absolutely wanted to watch so i definitely like got through those yeah and then um yeah, like just there's, there's so much stuff to watch oh, nowadays, yeah. I, like with like Hulu, Netflix, and like you know own series. Oh, yeah. and I definitely get more into series, so I just got to figure out kind of what I want to watch. And it's just nice to like watch, even if it's just like one episode a night. Yeah, you know, like to to get through. So yeah, I you know I got to find something to watch. I have all these shows because I watch with other people. So mm-hmm. at work, at work, like I said, we started at work. We started Shameless, which is. Yeah, that's season. on my list. That's but, good, dude. but it's always at like at a point to where, um, like Joey, because Joey watches it, yeah. he's always like, "Have you guys like watched it? Like started it up?" And so at this point, it's just kind of like I don't know if I want to start it up just to like <laughs> keep giving him shit. And I know it's good, and people love the oh, yeah. show, and I know I'll love it if I get to it. But there's other stuff I would rather watch I before I get to it because I just recently heard about Shameless. Okay. With, no joke. Within the like the last six months, okay, I feel. Yeah, it's um, solid, solid. Because yeah. I, that was one a lot of firehouses watched it. This the one I'm at, my firehouse. We wa- they watch it all the time. So I got caught up on it because I think Cam's sister kept telling her about it. So she, I went, she started watching, and I, mm-hmm. I was like, don't wait for me to watch them, but I'll. So I started rewatching the earlier episodes. And, uh, that one I'll vouch for. That one's really good, dude. Yeah, they're so fucked up, dude. So it's such a fucked up show, but it's real life and. Up and downs. It's good. And then uh started watching Making a Murderer season two at work. Yeah, see I have that and I don't know when we'll get to mm. that. And it's just hard. Like it's 
like, cause we just watch like stuff that's on TV. Now we watch and then, you know, with the kid and the second kid yeah. on the way, like, you know, there's only so much that J Pax can watch cause she wakes up way earlier than I yeah. do. So we'll watch and we're always behind and yeah. which is fine. I mean, I don't mind being behind on stuff and it's nice just to like not watch TV and we're like, we'll hang out and play with G or we take yeah. it and go do something. So yeah. Like I'm just at this point, I, there's certain shows that I want to keep on top of. Okay. Um, like uh, I watched a lot of the CW shows like Arrow and Flash yeah. because like Chubbs and Spencer watch it, and we're in a we always talk about it, so I always keep up on that. But JPAX doesn't watch it, so okay. there's for sure stuff that I watch, but I'm just like. I want to cut more shows out. Like I really started like taking a look back at stuff that I don't really care. Like even on YouTube videos okay. like that, I only watch certain ones that, you know, like that'll interest me now. Yeah. I like want to cut back. Like I want to like do more stuff. And I mean, it sounds like that's all I do is watch TV, <laughs> but um, like just more stuff. And I want to watch more sports too, you know, like watch yeah. more, more of the NFL, more of the NCAA football, you know, like I watched, uh, I was telling you part of every game of the World Series, if not most of it, yeah. you know, just to enjoy the emotions of sports and stuff like that. So I, at this point in my life, I'm just in no big hurry. Like, yeah, I'll get to it. I'll watch it whenever I get to it. Yeah. So, but it is nice, like at night, if there's nothing on, just to throw, watch a show on. So, but I, I, I love TV. Yeah, I got to, I got to find a new show to watch. Just me. Right. I got all these shows I'm in limbo with. You know, like I'm waiting for the boys to finish Always Sunny. Right. I'm waiting for Candace. We've been trying to watch Ozarks for months. We've got through one episode of yeah. Ozarks, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I needed my own show that I could watch if it's just me, like, during the day or, you know. So I'll, I'll find a show. I don't know. I still have shit on my watch. Like, Dexter's still on my watch list. Right. I, I, everybody always talked about that one with uh, John Hamm. Oh, Mad Men. Mad Men. Uh, I've JPEG's never watched it. watched it. She just finished it. Yeah. She liked it. It's something that I would not I don't like. think I would I like don't it think either, you man. would like it. Yeah. I think... Uh, Spencer and Taylor, they tried to watch it. They watched like the first two or three episodes. They're like, nope. <laughs> and so like it kind of got interesting. Like yeah. when I would like sit down and, you know, she was finishing watching an episode. I would watch like three fourths of an episode, and I just know it's something that I would not like. Okay. So, uh, I she liked the, it. Though. I, I kind of feel the same way. Like I don't think right. I'm gonna like it, man. But yeah, and a lot of people always say like that was a great show. But yeah. I also like want to just try to find like maybe like a Netflix series that nobody has watched. I have no experience. Like I have some of those in my queue. There, there's a there's a one I keep hearing about, dude. It's a scary one. It's called like House on a Haunted Hill. Maybe I've heard of it, but I have no idea. It's Ten episodes. Uh, my buddy at work. Uh, route. He 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 watched it and he said it was. It was uh, yeah, I think he watched it. He said it was good. So hmm. yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Plus, I like scary stuff. That's all I've been trying to watch lately is around Halloween season. You know, right. scary movies. But there's not a lot of good scary movies, dude. So yeah, I mean, there's like I'll just go through like Netflix originals and there's a couple of them that I have that seem like there's a Time Travelers one that kind of seems interesting. That's in my queue. There's one that's called like rain or okay. something it's just like i read the description because i i like these shows that are kind of like uh it's like the real world but not the world that we live in. like the walking dead like that's yeah. not the real world but it is the gotcha. real world in that universe okay so just weird stuff like and there's something about the rain like it's like either like toxic or like when it starts raining people disappear or something Shit. it had like again because you know that i'm still on the five star system yep. in netflix so yeah you saw it, it had like Full, a full five stars rating. So, yeah. and I don't know if I would like it, but it takes a lot for me to be disappointed in anything. Okay. So, I think it seemed, you know, that I would enjoy something like that. But there's also like, um, what the hell? The one with it's an HBO series. It's a comedy series, Crashing that Pete Holm writes. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. loosely I like heard I, that was good. yeah. I want to watch that, so I might okay. you know jump into that. Cause they have a lot of comedians. Cause it's about him. It's like loosely based off his life or yeah. him where he's becoming a stand up comic on the show. And I like Pete Holmes, and I think he's funny. And they have like Bill Burr guest appears on it a lot. Okay. And you know, there's another like comedy one that's on HBO. I wouldn't mind getting into. So there's definitely a lot that I could eventually get into but you know yeah. yeah dude i'm waiting for black mirror to come out dude, yeah i can't five. wait did you see they're gonna do like a choose your own adventure did, type dude. thing dude I i'm did. fucking pumped <clears throat> for that that show was so fucking good it, it's the best so fucking it good. is absolutely great um i mean is that coming out in 2019 right or i don't know i, I, I hope I, soon dude yeah i mean because <laughs> it's been a, it's been a while yeah since they come out so i don't know yeah and i'll go back and watch Old Black Mirror yeah. episodes, but yeah, that show was so fucking good, man. God damn. Yeah, that's not like the problem was there's always so much shit that I want to watch. There's honestly not a lot of things that I ever like 
watch reruns. Okay. Like, if we're just at home and, like, if there's sports on, I'll have sports playing in the background. Yeah. Or if not, like, we, like, I know a lot of people don't like Big Bang Theory, but we watch a lot of that. Like, we just have that on, like, in the background when we're eating or, okay. like, cleaning or whatever. So, so that one always cracks me up. But yeah. So, we watch reruns. I'll show the boys old movies because the boys like that. They'll, like, they just watch Rambo, like, yeah. First Blood the other day. They they like the old Rocky movies, stuff like that. Yeah, so oh, yeah. I mean, as movie. far as the, yeah, I mean, we'll put, like, those movies on as well. Yeah. Uh, JPEG, she, she's seen bits and parts of The Office, but she's never seen it all the way through. Okay. So, I don't, like, if it's on, I don't ever put it on. Because yeah. I don't want her to, like, see yeah, yeah, certain gotcha. episodes. Because we are going to rewatch okay. it through at some point as well. Because I've the, only seen it the one time okay. through. Yeah, the boys so, love The Office. So, a lot right. of times, we'll just watch Office reruns or <laughs> Always Sunny reruns. So... But yeah, I'll, I'll get into westerns too. I just watched uh, uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly with Clint Eastwood, and then uh, I'm gonna watch a fist, a fistful of dollars or whatever that's called, and watch that again, and for a few dollars more. There's a bunch of old westerns on one of the channels I can't remember, but yeah, so I'll get into those. But yeah, I want to get caught up on comedy, dude. I want to finish the Degenerates, and I yeah. want to watch that Adam Sandler. And yeah, I gotta watch his. His is getting great reviews from what I'm seeing, yeah. so I definitely want to check him out. And I'm trying to think. Um, I know I just heard on a podcast that uh, Adam Devine he's recording a Netflix special in Omaha. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be for Netflix. So that'll be coming out in like six months. But I heard Tiffany Haddish is going to be coming out with nice. one. So there's a lot. I mean, they're going to be dropping all sorts yep. of, of stuff. So that's going to always be a never ending battle of comedy. But try to stay on top of that for sure. How, how'd you like Joe Rogan's last? Um, dude, I loved it. Um, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Like, he, I mean, he's great. He yeah. just cracks me up. And, you know, I just love his style of yeah. comedy. Uh, you know, Burt Kreischer. His latest one, Secret Time, was absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. So his, I recently saw him. We went down with uh, Spencer and Taylor came down, JPEGs and I, and then people from her work. Okay. We all went out and saw Burt Kreischer, and he has the, his new joke, and it will be his closer about uh, Starbucks. And it's not a specific; it's just something that happened in Starbucks. Is probably my all-time favorite joke no shit favorite story he has okay. i mean it's, no for shit. me it's better than the machine it's better than anything off Damn. secret time that he said okay and so if you get a chance he's going on a world tour um starting in january but this was like his stand-up secret time came out and we saw him two weeks later and he had a whole new hour okay. already Damn. so it is definitely not the same stuff but that bit about starbucks i legitimately blacked out at one point i was laughing so hard like i laughed so hard to where like i just got an intense migraine and i like like had to like shake my head and then like come back to you like that's <laughs> no joke how hard i was laughing yeah, dude i can't wait to it watch was that man that fucking so whenever it. and he probably won't record it for like until like the end of next year um Maybe, because like I said, he just released his new okay. hour. But whenever it comes out, dude, I'm telling you, that coffee bit <laughs> is, is so fucking funny. So funny. And it's like seeing it in person, you know, when he's... Yeah. So, I can't, so I got to see it early. That's like my favorite That's part awesome. about it. I got to see it super, super yeah. early. So it will not it, be the same. No, absolutely it'll be, not. It'll be way better. It'll yeah. be fine-tuned yep. and stuff. So just to see what other jokes he throws in there, how it really plays out. Um, but it, we, everybody was crying and I told him like, cause Spencer and Taylor wanted to take pictures with them yeah. and, oh, I, yeah, yeah. and I didn't mind like, cause I already got pictures, so I didn't have to, but they're yeah. like, well, we're going to stand in line. I'm like, well, we'll stand with you. Yeah. And we got pictures and I told him, I was like, Bert, I was like that Starbucks, but is my <laughs> favorite. And I go, I've been following you for years. Like I know all your jokes. I listen to every podcast you're on. Like yeah. I, I go, it is by far your best joke. I go, I cannot wait to see how it is when it's all done. And you put it on a special. Yeah. So what do you, what do you say? He's like, oh, I mean, he just he sees so many. People. Yeah. He's like, oh, thanks, man. He's like, I appreciate it. He's like, it's it's my favorite bit that I'm doing. So, um, it, it, it's great. And I heard him mention it, and he had been talking about it on podcast that he was trying to work out this bit. Um, and he goes, once I figure it out, he goes, it's going to kill. And it's it's already killing where it's at. And this was, like, way before I heard it. Because, obviously, he had been, you know, putting it into the rotation, yeah. you know, and stuff yeah. like that to get it worked on. So, I, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, dude, I love Bert, man. But, I, I love Bert, so I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, uh, Secret, what's a Secret Time? Secret Time. Is that was solid. Yeah. Joe Rogan's uh, last stand-up, uh, fantastic. Dude, I thought it was better than Triggered. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I thought that was so good, dude. Yeah, it was great. Ron White's new one's pretty good. I heard that. That's on my watch list. Like, I need to. I'm gonna watch that one. <laughs> yeah, and there's just a bunch. Like, I know Ari Shafir. He's touring, and he has a new hour, and it's called like the Jew. Ari Shafir, <laughs> the Jew. So it's about I think all the time when he was going through, because you know he went to like. Uh, he was an Orthodox yeah. Jew for yeah. like, a, so it's all about that. And he is so funny and he's all like, I love because he's doing like what's called like the Montreal like hour. So where okay. when you do the Montreal like comedy festival, you go and it's, it's an hour, but it has like a specific topic. Okay. So like, uh, I think I told you, but um, on Netflix, there's a comedian called Daniel Sloss. Yeah, you told me. And about he's him. fucking hilarious. He has it's called Daniel Sloss Live, and there's two hours. Okay. And th- they're themed. They're just themed hours, and he's fucking great. I, I I say new comic, and he's definitely not a new comedian. He's young. He's like a twenty eight year old so he's been doing comedy for like 10 years so he's definitely not a new comic but he's new to me it. okay and it was his two hours were absolutely great he's from uh where's he from is he from scotland i think okay. so and he is he's smart right. he's like what he says and like you you would love it okay dude. he fucking had me crying so both of those hours the first one's called dark okay and then the second one's called jigsaw okay and it's you get a chance i would watch those even before like Ron White's and stuff. Really? Okay. Like, I mean, not saying that they're better because Ron White's a legend. And yeah. It's hard to compare, like, stand-up because it's like, you might like somebody, you know, better than, mm-hmm. you know, somebody else. Like, I love long stories and how they go back, and I love when people call back to jokes and stuff. Yeah. So, like, that's my favorite. So, I'm always going to enjoy, like, a Burt Kreischer over somebody who just like just does set up jokes set up gotcha. jokes, which is great yeah but like for me personally it's just my style better so I, he's just daniel sloss and i heard him on um he was on ari shafir's podcast i was like i'll have to check him out and then he i had watched him and then he was on bert's podcast and okay. it was absolutely fucking fantastic <laughs> and he talks about some of the stuff that we talked about i'm like you know why do you get offended you know like yeah. what gives you the right and it's just like where he comes from and what he's talking about and it's just, i've told everybody like if you're gonna watch a comedy on netflix like watch those two like right now like they're that good. Right. i absolutely love them yeah you told me about that sloss guy a few months ago i just haven't watched it dude. it's just yeah it's just hard yeah you know to watch i'll, it, be, but my, it's just I'll cool. be my next comedy show i'll watch yeah it. then i'll finish the degenerates yeah now again adam Sandler. i will probably go somebody else brought up adam, adam sandler in the group text mm-hmm. so i'll probably try to watch it at work this set so i don't I'll, so i'll do that at work but yeah the uh sauce and the degenerates they're for sure oh yeah absolutely man and it it's there's so much comedy you're, <clears throat> there's no way you're gonna be able to nah get to get to everything but yeah <clears throat> yeah so that's where I'm at with TV. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, just I watch a lot of football, dude, So, which I love it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so I, on shows, I'm just kind of behind. And I got to find a good show to watch. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to pick, but, yeah, I'm going to start watching a new show. Just me. Yeah, just so you don't got to wait on yeah, anybody else. waiting on other people. <laughs> I ain't about that life, you know? Yeah, because then shows start stacking up. That's kind of where we're at. We yeah. got so much stuff that... But... <clears throat> And I mean, I guess it's a good problem to have. It's a first right. world problem. Yeah, it's to a first have, world problem for sure. But... Yeah, absolutely. Then I've been slaying zombies every now and then. You know what I mean? <laughs> a fucking Black Ops Three life. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, I I don't game, and I've said that before. And I'm, I I know myself. I know if I get into it, I won't be able to let it go. Yeah. I just want to do that. And I'm already, like I said, cutting stuff out of my life because I don't have time for other stuff. Yeah. So it's only gonna get worse as the kids get older. I and... definitely don't start gaming, dude. No. Absolutely not. I mean, it would be fun. It would be a ton of fun. Yeah. But, yeah, you bust out a 64 or something, I'll, I'll throw <laughs> down on that. <laughs> that wacky-ass weird controller. Yeah, hey, we got one, dude. <laughs> we got everything. Well, what do you think, man? Yeah, man. Think we can wrap this up? up. Yeah, yeah, we'll get this done. Send in some questions, you fucks. Yeah, we're completely out of questions for, like, a long time. So, I know... Over the last podcast, I don't think we really pimped out much of our stuff. But, uh-uh. yeah, we're still on the social medias. We don't do it a lot. Um, it'll probably be after the first of the year whenever this comes out. So, yeah. uh, I mean, congratulations to whoever won the Celebrity Death Pool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully it's, like, preferably me. Yeah. But yeah, if it's not me, then you. Uh, yeah, we're sitting in second up. and third right now. Yeah. So we're, not, not doing, we're in the money. Yeah. You know? We're in the money. Yeah, unless somebody has fucking died over this last 90 minutes while recording this 
you know, we'll see. But yeah, yeah it'll be interesting. So we'll next time we get together. I don't know when it's gonna be. So yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll, man. I'll come down to Kansas City, dude. Yeah, you guys come down and see the baby yeah. once he or she's here yeah. and shit. Shit like that. Huh. <laughs> so, any shouts out or fuck yous that you have? Yeah, dude. Like, so I've been trending again, and it's mostly shouts out with very little <laughs> I fuck love yous, it. which I don't I know what that's it. about, man. I love it. Uh, but I got shouts out to Camus for holding it down this weekend. She helped out a lot. Yeah. Shouts out to Vito for coming by. Shouts out to Spencer for coming by. Shouts out to Twitter Fox for coming by, coming to BDC Studios, hanging mm-hmm. out. Recording with us, it's been a fantastic weekend. Shouts out to you, sir. Yeah, yeah, you as well. Then uh, I got shouts out to uh, Tommy Two Guns and his recovery and everything he's done for NBA. So big Fuck shouts yeah. out to him. It's great. My only fuck you right now is to Trump, <laughs> and I don't even. Get, I'm not even gonna list any reason why because everybody knows why. He's a fucking <laughs> if you douche. don't know now, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, I only got. I got a very small list as well. So on my shouts out, I have to Two Guns as well. I'm glad to hear that update. That's fucking great. Um, and I have shouts out to biscuits and gravy because I think you, it's just a must. Yeah. I only have one fuck you and that's to pickles. <laughs> that's always probably going to be on there. So, um, other than that, definitely send in our questions. Nasty yes. friends at gmail.com. We wanted to, we haven't done a Q and a in a long no, time, so it'd be nice. We're going to be off for a while. So, you know, line them up, maybe our first episode back, you know, uh, it'd be season four when we get back, I yep. think probably. So season four. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So, um, nasty friends, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, which again, we're not on it a lot, but if you want to follow, follow, hit us it's up. All right. Hit uh, us the fuck up. <laughs> sure. Life simple. Don't be a dick. Night sluts. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>